Hello everyone, this is Professor Sexton with a video lecture on Richard Rodriguez's essay entitled Aria, a memoir of a bilingual childhood. Richard Rodriguez's essay is quite, is quite a long piece in which he reflects on his childhood experiences of transitioning from Spanish, for him what he identifies as a family private language, to English, for him a school public language. He uses these reflections to express why he disagrees with bilingual education. Additionally, he speaks about intimacy and how many people incorrectly assume that intimacy in relationships passes through language. For Rodriguez, intimacy in relationships passes through the person and not the language. Uh, as he states in his essay, in intimacy is not created by a particular language, it is created by intimates. So that means like the people uh, instead of the language itself. Bilingual education is a teaching practice in which students are taught school content in two languages. One language is the one spoken in the home, which Rodriguez defines as both a family and a private language. For, for Rodriguez, that language is Spanish. The other is the public school language and the one that is used in the wider society, which in America is English. However, it should be noted that the United States of America does not have an official language. Rodriguez disagrees with bilingual education because he does not believe, and this is once again um, a direct quotation from his essay, that it is possible for a child, any child, to ever use his family language in school. Rodriguez mainly disagrees with bilingual education because it, he views it as a means to deny those students full belonging and participation in American society. He recounts how his parents were often hesitant when speaking English was translated to a lack of confidence and belonging. He compared their limited English speaking skills to their proficiency in Spanish, which was booming with confidence and a sense of belonging. He gives the example of his father, whose Spanish voice would sound the light and free notes that he could never manage in English. We can read uh, in English. Despite disagreeing with the practice of bilingual education, Rodriguez does treasure the closeness and sense of belonging that he felt at home when Spanish was spoken. When he heard his parents speak to him in Spanish, he would feel embarrassed by the sounds of their words. And while he acknowledges that his teacher spoke to him in Spanish, it would have pleased him and made him less afraid. It would, it would have also delayed and postponed his learning the public language and creating a public identity. So what he means there, even though he would have loved for his teachers to speak to him in Spanish, he says that that would have been a disservice to him if they were to do so. Everything changed for Rodriguez when three nuns from his school visited his parents and strongly encouraged his parents to have their children practice English at home. Although not entirely similar, Rodriguez's experiences are not unlike what Ngugi experiences when his native Gikuyu was replaced with English. When English became a dominant language in the Rodriguez home, a harmony that Ngugi writes about was also broken for Rodriguez. His parents abdicated, which means they gave up, the private family language to the public dominant one. He recalls one instance when his parents were in the kitchen speaking Spanish, but when they saw him, they instantly switched to speaking English. With the switch to English in the Rodriguez home, a sense of closeness was lost and a silence invaded his home life. It also changed that the dynamics of the home. His mother, whose English improved more than the father, transitioned to being the public voice of the family, while his father retired into silence. Yet there was a trade-off in his classroom experiences. Before the nuns had visited the Rodriguez home, Rodriguez spoke silent in school. Once English was spoken more in the home, Rodriguez's confidence in the school increased, and he recalls a day in the classroom where he spoke out in a loud voice and the entire class understood. What had been lost in the home had been gained in the public. And Rodriguez comments how he realized that I belonged to the public, a sense that he had not felt previously. Rodriguez believes that the loss of the diminished sense of private individuality, and this is when he's talking about uh, language, uh, Spanish language skills, found in speaking at home private language is what the achievement of the public individuality found in speaking a school public language. So he believes that it's worth giving up a private home language in order to be able to speak a public language. 
He writes that it was only when he was able to think of myself as an American could I see the rights and opportunities necessary for full public individuality. He, however, does reference numerous times throughout the essay the negative effects of losing his Spanish and how he could no longer easily hear intimate family voices. He lost confidence in speaking Spanish and was often teased by other Spanish-speaking relatives for his deficiencies in his private family language. Yet Rodriguez came to realize that it was not language that marked intimacy with his family. The intimacy had more to do with actual people and not the language they spoke. To illustrate this view, he uses his maternal grandmother who refused to speak English. Once when Rodriguez was in his backyard playing with a gringo boy, his grandmother called to him in Spanish. The boy asked Rodriguez what his grandmother had said. He started to translate, but he realized that any translation would distort the deepest meaning of her message, which had been directed only to me. For Rodriguez, there was an intimacy in her voice that was more than actual words. Intimacy cannot be held by the word, is what he states in his essay. Instead, the word is merely, merely a conduit through which intimacy passes. Intimacy is found in the nonverbal and emotional connection that he has with his grandmother. Rodriguez uses his view of intimacy to also argue against bilingual education. Proponents of bilingual education feel that it is family private language that gives a person a sense of identity and belonging. However, Rodriguez argues that they are incorrectly crediting the language or they should be crediting the family members for the intimacy. He references how certain social and political movements have appropriated family language to create solidarity, such as the use of brother to refer to fellow workers. These appropriations change the meaning because the person with whom one works does not share the same emotional connection as someone's biological or in blood brother. Unlike Ngugi, who senses that a person's sense of identity and harmony is connected to the language in which they speak, Rodriguez would argue that a person's sense of identity and harmony is tied mainly to the people with whom a person speaks. We see a similar sense. Um, so, they, so this is this is a point of Rodriguez's essay. So, and it's very different than Ngugi's essay uh, because where Ngugi's essay is, Ngugi clearly relates language to a person's identity, whereas Rodriguez does not. Um, the Rodriguez essay is fairly long, uh, so I will let you know that ahead of time. However, even though it is fairly long. It is not a difficult essay to read. The thing that you want to do is just give yourself enough time to go through it, and you might want to read it in stages. So um, don't attempt to read it all in one setting. Uh, so read part of it, come back, and continue to reading it. And it also may be helpful for you to watch this video lecture first before you read the essay, um, because in this video lecture, I give you some of the things to pinpoint and to look at as you're reading um, the essay for yourself. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye.